talking right now with Amy Grant. I want to get to the lead me on and going back through that music and what that process was like for you, but going even deeper and in, in into the experience of the journey and walking through Christian music. Tell me some, some stories that come to mind over characters like Rich Mullins. When you came to the 20th anniversary here in Houston for KSBJ and you were at the Astrodome on stage, I remember what it was like to listen to you to this tribute to Rich Mullins and how that affected you. I remember seeing you side stage and just how that deeply affected you. But maybe a story about Rich Mullins, but what comes to mind? Well, when I think about Rich, I, I don't know why, but I'm remembering the first apartment that I had after I left school. And he came by and we were going to try to write a song. And, you know, we spent the whole time talking and never, he never sat down at a, at a keyboard. I never picked up a guitar. We talked about raw things from our childhood. And whenever I hear one of his songs, I think, you know, the reason he touched so many people is because I don't know that he ever held his guard up. Not song, not in writing a song. It doesn't, you know, didn't appear that he held his guard up, you know, between himself and God. And um, I was in another town today at a different radio station and, and, and uh, somebody played Creed, and I was just listening to his hammer dulcimer and thinking, oh, my goodness, I just wonder what kind of music he would have been making now. Mm. And I'm so glad I just had this rush of feeling I get to hear him again. And I'm really grateful for whatever heaven looks like on the other side of this life. I know, I believe music is going to be a part of that because it's something that we can all experience together and, uh, and I, I'm going to look forward to that rascal. 